All right, what's going on, people? We've lost 2-1 at home to Newcastle United in what has been a quite damaging defeat in our prospects this season. Um, obviously, still remain third in the league. That's our second defeat in a row. And um, it was uninspiring stuff. Even when we got back to 2-1, yeah. after being 2-0 down, you thought you were gonna, we're going to push on. We're going to be uh, in the ascendancy. We're going to create some chances. We weren't able to muster anything. Um, I think that when you when you talk about the game in the first half, obviously we were okay for half an hour. Yeah, there was a nice press on. There was like taking initiative. The, the, the way they set up actually looked really good, and the way they were getting on the ball high, like that high press, was without like, creating too much. Yeah, no. without really creating too much. But Basuma was like winning the ball. Like he was, you know, he was in charge. Yeah, yeah Bentacle and Skipper getting about, and I thought we were we were penning Newcastle in without really testing Pope. Son obviously had a few shots from 25 yards, but then the big moment in the first half, yeah. Callum uh, Lloris comes charging at his goal, takes the ball past Wilson, Wilson looks so fouled, and referee says no foul, VAR agrees. Um, the whole thing I, for me, Dyer, I thought, thought was so slow to react. Like, Callum Wilson is not a fast forward, and he, and he, got, he was so I think fast he's quick. Back. It's not compared to, like, you know, world class forwards or anyone who's, like, you know, I guess for, like, an old school forward, he's all right, but. Dyer should be, you know, outrunning him. He just got past him so fast. Yeah. And then I think, like, Maurice, the where the ball was bouncing, Maurice came out and took it on his chest. Maurice has got to come out and head that ball. Well, just get rid of it. Yeah. It was too cool, and I think um, he was too calm in that situation, and, and potentially that put him in trouble. And obviously, he takes a touch. Wilson wins it back. Look, I've seen it again. I think it's a foul. I think we're unlucky that we didn't get a foul in that situation, albeit... Even though, even, thank you. Even though it's a foul, I think Laurie still's got to do better. So I think, yeah. I think that's probably you can say both. So look, we're one 0 down, probably undeservedly, and then and then within five, within what ten minutes, yeah. we're two 0 down. Migo Amaron with a Cess was too yeah, weak on completely the ball. roasted. It was too Cess easy on. to get past Longley. Although Long thought Longley had a good game, it was too easy to get past. That was him. horrendous. That was horrendous. Yeah. I thought absolutely yeah. horrendous from uh, Session for that second goal. Amaron made it look like we, we didn't have any defence whatsoever. Yeah. Yeah. And obviously we're 2 0 down. Look, do I think that the first half was a 2 0 to Newcastle game? Probably no, not. No. But it wasn't exactly we were like we were great, were we, yeah. in the first half? So. Yeah. I think in, in, in this Premier in, in this league, if you, if you just sleep for a couple of seconds, we started with such a high press on it, you know, like closing them down, forcing them to have to kick long, winning the ball. Why, why change that? Sure, you've lost an, an unlucky goal, but why did they change? Two why did they lead. set that yeah. all and of a sudden? To be honest, once we conceded our first goal, we were all over the place. Yeah, yeah. Just so we re it did definitely affect us. That's the mentality goal. of these players. Is like, we've got a game plan, it is working. Oh, they scored a lucky goal, it's all gone to shit. Yeah, it definitely affected us, that, that first goal, that's for sure. Yeah. And um, for the last 15 minutes of the first half, uh, we were all over the shop. Obviously, we went 2-0 down, we were pretty bad. And then um, second half starts, um, we get the goal, what, five minutes after the, the, yeah. the half time from a corner. Long lane, knocking it, little yeah. neck to the back post. Kane so Kane, Kane gets ahead of you off and go, okay, we're back in the game, but yeah. we didn't really. And then no football well, gets yeah. played. And, and how much football did we actually see in that? Like the amount of like time wasting. And then for the ref to say five minutes at the end, just shocking stuff. Now, yeah. I know it's a part of the game, but I hate that part of the game. But you can just waste that amount of time. Some people will say it's um, it's unpro it's not unprofessional, it's um, bad sportsmanship, and some will say it's good gamesmanship. Wherever you look at it, I, obviously, I sometimes we're frustrated. I mean, how we it's did gone. that, and we, we got the two one. We're delighted, like, but we're happy. <laughs> so look, so obviously for the last half an hour, I don't remember too many chances we created. Dyer had a header which referee put offside, so Can we just don't say know, how if bad that would have How bad was Dyer? I have to say, two players, Dyer and Loris, who I've defended a lot. Um, this season, who I've always said are good players, they've let us down today um, really badly. Dyer, especially, it wasn't what was what is one of his biggest strengths it, for me is one of his passing out the back. Yeah, I think today really let him down. So I thought it was horrendous. And when you get the ball on the ball halfway line near the end, we really can't afford to waste the ball because they're going to you know waste time and he would just flash like just hit the ball in nowhere, you know. It's, and you get the ball back on the website. Yeah, thank you. So, just give us a minute. Sure. Um, yeah, so, yeah, we were horrendous. Uh, he was horrendous um, in that bit of football dire. I feel, I just thought defensively he was horrendous on the ball. You could see he was getting frustrated, like, when he was rushing people off the pitch, like yeah. Wilson. He was getting an argument with Wilson because I felt like he was frustrated with his own game. Yeah, yeah. I think you could see that. Emerson, 
some good, some good, but mostly bad. I would say second half, I thought he was poor. When he went to centre sec- off, first with Sanchez as well, horrendous. Sanchez was so bad. So bad. Every time the ball got in the first half, every time the ball got past him, he had a kick to out, lost the ball. He's hit on the ball again, horrendous. Um, if you're Conte though, you're not thinking like, wow, like, I just don't, I, what can I do here? What can I do? Every, everyone's first? been calling for this formation. The one thing I've pointed out with this formation is how isolated um, Kane and Son get in this formation. At least when there's Kulu or Richarlison, there's a link player there, there's another player who can threaten. But it's almost as if if we, if we can't get the ball to Kane and Son, if they're being nullified, then it's like the attack is over. And I, that's I a big thought, problem. I thought at times today it really worked. Like the turnovers of the ball really worked high up. And I think sometimes when we yeah. broke, it's just that when you don't, like, you know, even Lucas coming on, sometimes when we broke, it looked like there was a chance to cut yeah. through. Son and Kane, when we're playing this, I think they have to also adapt their ways to like, I, one of the midfielders has to be super attacking, has to break through lines. Today, it's, I guess, like it just, you, I can see that that can work. It's just not working right now because we have off-on players. Son, Son and Kane are kind of like... They look tired, they look a bit yeah. leggy. And so it's a bit of a problem. Obviously, Kane did get his 10th goal of the season in uh, 12 games, so... Yeah. Hard to say he's off form, but again, he wasn't, didn't seem his best. He's not, he's not well the, the team that we know we can, we can be. Yeah, that's definitely true. The only bright sparks for me are with the midfield players. I thought Basuma was much better today than yeah. he has been. I think, I think he was actually was driving man forward. Our man in the match. I thought he was driving forward fairly well. I thought Ben Tankor at times, he was doing some good stuff yeah. uh, with uh, not some, so much help around him. Yeah. Skip was, uh, was a bit mere uh, before he went off. But it was disappointing at the end of the day. Look, Brains, it's two defeats in a row now. And um, off the back of a, a, a really shocking performance Man United, we thought today yeah. we'll, we'll try and have a response. We did try. Yeah. At the end of the day, it wasn't enough. And we were pretty below par again in the end. Yeah. And it was disappointing. So where do we go from here? I think the only way is down, unfortunately. I think we're, we're going to you think we're going to have to suffer a bit more for yeah. it? It's better. Yeah, until January. Because, like, when you look at, you look at the team, like, when we saw that team shoot today, we were like, what? And then when he made the changes, it's like, what? Like, everything is just so bizarre. It's because we know our manager does not think he's got a decent team to work with. Until we get, like, more good players in that are of the level of Benson Kerr, of the level of Kane, until we get more good players in, it's just going to be a little bit of pain for a while. We're just going to have to... We, we can't compete with this defense, with these defenders, you know? When they're all gone, we look like we're absolutely dreadful. You know, taking Longley off, I'm like, Longley's the only good defender we've got after that performance. I couldn't believe that like, if you watch Longley play next to Dyer and Sanchez, it's, oh my God, it's like... Yeah, night and day. I agree with that, but it's just, it's, it's really frustrating watching how we're playing at the moment with our lack of creativity, our lack of, our, of confidence in our play, which means our passing goes astray. Yeah. We look like today's a ball. Um, and it's a massive get... problem. And, and not only that, we're not defending great at the moment yeah. either. And so when you're in this system, if we're not defending great and we're not creating the chances, all of a sudden we look completely ineffective. Now on the flip side, we're still third. So we need a big win and we need a ton of confidence around. We need a good real quick. We yeah, need we to need start, start creating chances. And today yeah. again was was insipid and it wasn't good enough. And that was really disappointing. The confidence in the fans of seeing that good performance anytime soon is so low because we don't have Kulu, we don't have Richelle, so no, we and don't have And that's also uh, and, and uh, Romero so it's like not having those four players available is really hurting us in my bad. opinion yeah. and um, look I'm not really sure how to improve things in this formation unless we uh, have a, t- a change of tactic it, look, it's worrying at the moment I have to say last two performances have been very worrying hopefully Conte can come up with something but at the moment it doesn't look great doesn't look we move on to Lisbon if we win that we do go through in the Champions League so that's something to look forward to but at the moment we're not playing well there's no doubt about it we're, no. we're really Below par, and we've lost our 100 percent record at home now. Yeah. And 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 people say whenever we come up against someone good, even Conte said it. Whenever we, we come struggle. up against a good team, we struggle, and it showed again and we today. We're going to struggle against Newcastle because we, I think Newcastle is at like a top six team this season. At the moment, they're, they're playing, playing very playing well. Top six, you know. All right, so we try and move on. Hopefully, we we'll look for improvement somewhere. Not a good day at the office at all for Tottenham, but let's hope that uh, we can pick pick things up on Wednesday, and maybe we can build on it. But. Anyway, thanks for joining us today. Like, subscribe and comment. And as always, come on to Spurs.